My name is Per Bu. I'm 45 years old and live in Denmark. I'm a designer and chocolate enthusiast and have been working f- with chocolate since 2005. I live and work in the city of Odense, in the heart of Denmark. The city is located on the island of Fynen and has around 200,000 citizens. Along with my passion for chocolate, I also have an interest in tea, particularly from China and Japan. I love to visit one particular shop called H.E. Hansen that is more than 100 years old. There I often find inspiration for our new collection of chocolates. I love to sample the latest chocolates and buy favorites that I have. They also offer a wide selection of premium teas from around the world, especially Asia. Odense has a wonderful farmer market that offer all the fresh food and vegetables grown in the region. It's a beautiful place to live and work and a great place to draw gastronomical inspiration. Odense also has a great historical significance and it is where the poet and writer Hans Christian Andersen was born and lived. Hans Christian was born in the city in 1805. The Hans Christian Andersen Museum has more than half a million visitors each year, with many coming from as far as China. There you can see most of his original scripts, letters and his personal belongings. I personally like the little chair that he carved. It illustrates just how talented he was at other things besides writing. There's even a look into his intimate life with letters he wrote to his true love, Rick Boyd, who unfortunately didn't feel the same way about him. On this visit, I was able to take a peek at one of the valuable manuscripts, often kept away from regular visitors. Thanks to knowing some of the people who worked there, I was shown the original manuscript of the Nightingale. Here you can see Hans Christian Andersen's handwriting, which is so unique and difficult to read that only the manager of the museum can read it. Manuscripts like this one are so delicate that they must be kept away from sunlight and are protected by silk paper and stored in the basement of the museum. Tourists from all over come to my city to see the house that Hans Christian Andersen lived in, which still remains in the old city center. He remains a great legacy of this city, and one that can be enjoyed with everything else that Odense has to offer. <laughs>